In 2014, Formula One cars were doing something strange. They weren't diving under braking, they weren't squatting under acceleration, they just glided. The secret? A hidden hydraulic system called Frick. Frick stood for front and rear interconnected suspension. It linked all four corners of the car using hydraulics. So when the front dipped under braking, the rear adjusted automatically. The result? Perfect ride height, stable aerodynamics, more downforce, and a car that felt like it was on rails. Mercedes and Lotus were the early masters. Their cars stayed flat through corners, stable under braking, and lightning fast. Each suspension corner had a hydraulic actuator. These were connected to a central control manifold. As the car pitched or rolled, fluid moved between corners to balance the load. No electronics, no driver input, just pure mechanical wizardry. It wasn't active suspension, but it was the closest thing you could get without breaking the rules. By mid-2014, the FIA got suspicious. They issued a technical directive. If Frike influenced aerodynamics, even passively, it could be illegal. Teams were told, run it at your own risk. No one wanted to be disqualified. So, Frick was dropped, overnight. Frick didn't use sensors. It didn't need software. It just used physics, beautifully. But in Formula One, even passive genius can be too good to stay. Love Formula One tech that danced on the edge of legality? Hit like, follow, and let's keep uncovering the dark arts of racing.